Hello, this is Bad Gunner here, and I am back with the review of the HTC Evo V4G, which is right here. This is what it looks like originally on the website, and I have it right here. And I had put a special thing on there called Nova Launcher, and what Nova Launcher does is gives it a kind of look like HT, like, I mean, Android Jelly Bean 4.1, which gives it the full scale, like, screen with all the apps and everything. So, yeah, you get all that cool stuff. As you guys can see, you get all that cool stuff, just like Android Jelly Bean. You get all the themes, icons, and everything, which is different from the stock in this image. So now I'm going to get to the full-fledged features of this phone. It's got a 4.3 QHD display on it. It's very beautiful. It does hold up very well in a dark area. But I'm saying in light, it doesn't do so well. You'll sometimes be hurtful to see dark colors and stuff on the screen in dark areas. The camera is a 5 megapixel camera and it does have flash. It's got a 1.3 front facing camera. The front camera is alright. I mean, I can take a pretty good stellar image of over there. And it'll be okay. So, yeah. <clears throat> and it's good. It's got a nice front facing camera. probably see a paradox now of, every of the computer. Nope, no in the paradox. You can just see the computer. It's got some pixels. You can see myself in the picture and the computer. So there you go. That's how it looks. If you can even see that, it's alright. But they have a mirror thing and everything. The folders, it's very lightning fast. It comes with the standard Android Jelly Bean 4.0. I mean, not Jelly Bean, Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0 that looks nothing like this. It actually looks like what this looks like up here. And that kind of can be a distraction, like, or a problem. It lags a lot more than the Nova Launcher. That's why mine runs very smooth. So I recommend buying the Nova Launcher. It's about four bucks on the Android market. And it makes it look like Android Jelly Bean. Also, I put a custom ROM, Harmonia 3.17, on here, which gives me this nice Android box screen. And I also have this thing called Lee Droid Tweaks that comes built into it, where I could change the status bar, the HTC Sense, which I'm not using because I'm using the Nova Launcher, um, lock screen, and MISC. Oh, also, if you're wondering, the Nova Launcher, you don't need to have a rooted phone like this with a ROM. You can just buy it, and it'll cover up the HTC Sense. Also, if you are going to do a ROM like me, it you have to download a, a player like Rocket Player or something. Just to let you know. There is good Wi-Fi on it. It's also 4G WiMAX compatible, not LTE. The difference is it is a little bit slower, but it's just as good. The 3G is usually what you're going to get, and it's fast all the time, in my opinion. So, yeah. You have Google Maps, turn-by-turn -turn navigation on it. Right here it says, which every phone has. And it has a... 1.2 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S3 processor. It's got a 8 gigabyte SD card that comes with it. It does have Bluetooth 3.0, and I use a emulator like SNES and stuff, and I use a Wiimote with the Bluetooth. So yeah, it's got a 1300 no 1730 megahertz battery which is okay, it'll last you through the day. It won't die on you repetitively and just stupidly randomly. 
it's also very fluent and calls. There's no call dropping or anything with Virgin Mobile if you're thinking it's going to call drop for only paying $35 a month. It runs off the Sprint network, so I don't think I've never gotten a call drop ever. Even when I used to have the old phone, I think it's still on there if I can pull it up. I used to have this phone a long time ago. Yeah, right here. The Samsung M575. That was a long, long time ago. Then I had... I don't even think it's here anymore. They don't sell it anymore. Oh yeah, they do. It's right here. The HTC One V, right there. I saw iPhones and everything now. And then they got this new Galaxy Victory, which is probably way better than my phone because it's got 4G LTE and it comes with Jelly Bean already on it. But it does have the same processor and same camera, so. And smaller screen, too, just to let you know. This phone's actually very sick for the price from $179.99 on virginmobile.com. I will be putting it in the description for you to see. And this is the phone. Comes with a stock charger, everything, the HTC. This is the real charger if you guys want to see it's HTC. So, what else? It's pretty much all. It didn't come with anything else. There was no headphones with it or anything like that. I uh, used Beats with it. I installed Beats Audio with the ROM, and it does improve the audio. So, this is the end of my video, and thanks for watching. Bye.